If you're installing NVIDIA drivers by clicking Express Installation, you're basically giving NVIDIA permission to turn your gaming PC into a data farm. I'm talking 800 megabytes of bloatware that does nothing except watch what you're doing and slow down your system. The official installer isn't there to help you, it's there to help NVIDIA. They want NVIDIA app running all the time, tracking every game you play, how long you play it, what settings you use, then selling that data to publishers. They want the container service running in the background, like that one friend who never leaves your Discord call even when they're AFK. Okay. and they want you stuck in their ecosystem so you never consider switching to AMD. But today, we're breaking free. You're about to learn DDU plus NVclean stall, which is basically the Marie Kondo method for GPU drivers. We're keeping only what sparks joy, and telemetry definitely does not spark joy. And I'm not gonna treat you like you're stupid. I'm explaining why every step matters, what's actually happening behind the scenes, and why this isn't some placebo optimization nonsense you see on YouTube. When you hit Express Installation, NVIDIA installs like 10 different background services. Services. NVIDIA Container is constantly phoning home with your hardware specs and usage data. Node.js Web Helper literally runs a web server on your PC, just so GeForce Experience, if you still somehow use it in the new 2K26, can tell you to optimize your game settings, which are just sponsored recommendations from publishers who paid NVIDIA money. USB Type-C driver that literally nobody uses unless you're running a VR headset with Virtual Link. Which like, who even has that? But here's the actually insane part. Windows Update will nuke your clean driver install within two days if you don't stop it. Microsoft decided GPU drivers are mandatory security updates now, so they force install them whether you want it or not. You can spend half an hour getting everything perfect, then Windows Update just goes, lol, nope, and installs some latest trash driver that makes your game stutter or straight up crash. It's genuinely unhinged behavior from Microsoft. So step one, unplug your internet before you do anything. Ethernet cable out, Wi-Fi off, or just disable it in device manager if you know how. We're going full airplane mode because the second Windows boots up after removing drivers, it will immediately start downloading whatever crusty driver is sitting in the Windows update servers. DDU is display driver uninstaller, and it exists because Nvidia's official uninstaller is a joke. The official one leaves registry keys everywhere, DLL files chilling in system 30 32, old config files in your app data, and all that garbage causes frame drops and stuttering weeks later when you're in the middle of a ranked match. DDU doesn't mess around. It finds every trace of NVIDIA drivers and deletes them from existence. But most people mess this up by running DDU while Windows is running normally. Big mistake. When Windows is running normally, it has file locks on all the driver files because they're actively being used. DDU can't delete what's locked, so you end up with incomplete removal. You gotta use safe mode. Here's how you actually get to safe mode on modern Windows. Windows. Hold Shift, click Restart in the Start menu. You'll boot into Windows Recovery. Click Troubleshoot, then Advanced Options, then Startup Settings, then hit Restart. Your PC reboots again and shows you a menu with numbers. Press F4 for Safe Mode. Don't use that old MS Config trick because on modern UEFI systems, it can soft brick your boot settings. In Safe Mode, everything looks terrible because you're at like 800 by 600 resolution. That's normal. Open DDU. Top right corner, make sure you select NVIDIA from the drop down. Now here's the important choice clean and restart or clean clean and shut down. If you're keeping the same GPU, use clean and restart. If you're swapping GPUs like going from Nvidia to AMD, use clean and shut down so Windows doesn't try to load drivers for a card that doesn't exist anymore. Now make absolutely sure you check the box that says prevent downloads of drivers from Windows Update. This changes a group policy setting that tells Windows Update to stop being annoying and leave your drivers alone. Click clean and restart. DDU does its thing for like 30 seconds, then your PC reboots. You'll come back to Windows looking like it's running on a potato because you're using using the Microsoft Basic Display Adapter. That's perfect. It means zero NVIDIA drivers are on your system. Now we install NV Clean Stall, and this is where it gets fun. Download it from Tech Power Up, install it, launch it. NV Clean Stall connects to NVIDIA's servers and shows you the latest driver. But don't just spam next like you're skipping a YouTube ad. We're going full custom mode. First screen lets you pick which driver version. Usually you want the latest, but if you know an older version works better for your specific GPU, you can grab that instead. Click next. Now you're at component selection, and this is where you decide what actually gets installed. Display driver, yeah, keep that. It's literally the thing that makes your GPU work. Physics, only keep this if you actually play games that use physics. In 2026, that's basically just Borderlands and Batman. If you don't play those, uncheck it. HD audio driver, this is for sending audio through HDMI or DisplayPort to your monitor or TV. If you do that, keep it. If you use headphones plugged into your motherboard, you don't need it. USB Type-C driver, only for USB-C video output for VR headsets. If you're not running 
running VR with a virtual link cable, you don't need this. Now the actual bloat, the stuff NVIDIA really wants you to install. NVIDIA app, NVIDIA container, container, and other weird stuff. All of it is spyware disguised as helpful features. NVIDIA app says it optimizes your games, but really it's just collecting data on what you play, how you play it, and what hardware you have so NVIDIA can build user profiles and monetize your data. Container runs a local web server just to show you the in-game overlay and the backend that manages all the telemetry and uploads it to NVIDIA servers without asking you. Uncheck all of it. Your games will literally run exactly the same, except now you're not being surveilled. Click next. Tweaks page is where NV clean stall becomes god mode. Enable message signaled interrupts. Definitely check this. Here's why it matters. Normally, NVIDIA drivers use line-based interrupts, which is old-school hardware communication where your CPU has to constantly check the GPU like, you need anything? You good? You done yet? It's inefficient and adds latency. Message signaled interrupts lets your GPU just write directly to a memory address to tell the CPU, hey, I need attention, without all the polling nonsense. The result is lower DPC latency, which means less input lag and better frame consistency. You won't see higher average FPS, but your 1% lows get way better, which is what you actually feel when you're gaming. Your mouse feels more responsive, frame drops are less noticeable. It's not placebo, you can measure this with latency mod. Disable HDCP. Okay, so here's the trade-off. HDCP is copy protection that encrypts your video signal between your GPU and monitor to stop you from screen recording Netflix or whatever. If you disable it, your GPU stops wasting power encrypting every frame, and your monitor wakes up faster when you alt-tab. But if you disable HDCP, you can't watch Netflix, Disney+, Hulu, any streaming service in 4K on your PC. The DRM detects HDCP is off and downgrades you to 720p. So if you use your gaming PC to watch stuff, leave HDCP on. If you only game and watch streaming on your phone or TV like a normal person, disable it. Perform clean installation. Yeah, check that. Disable installer telemetry. Check that because even the installer tries to send your data to NVIDIA. Hit next, double check everything, click install. Takes like two minutes. When it's done, reboot. After you boot back up, reconnect your internet. Now verify it actually worked. Okay, real talk. Will this give you more FPS? No, like actually no. Anyone promising you 50 X extra frames from debloating drivers is lying to farm views. Average FPS difference is like 1 to 2 frames, which is literally just measurement variance. You will not notice it. But what you will notice is better stability. Your 1% lows go up by 5 to 10 FPS because you don't have random telemetry processes interrupting your frame rendering. Your frame times are way more consistent because NVIDIA Container isn't randomly eating CPU cycles. You save 400 megabytes of disk space. You have 8 fewer processes running in Task Manager eating RAM. Your PC boots faster. It's not about squeezing more performance, it's about removing unnecessary garbage that shouldn't be there. That's what's actually wild about this. NVIDIA treats their driver installer like a Trojan horse. They know 90% of people just click express installation without thinking. They're literally treating your gaming PC like they own it. Like imagine if every time you install Discord, it also installed a keylogger and a web server. If you want to subscribe, here's why you should. I'm going to keep making videos showing how to take back control of your own hardware from filthy Huang hands. Thanks for watching. Happy New Year.